If this is what Orson dies, Victor's gonna be pissed. I don't know, we don't know. That could go to, like, a room full of gumdrops and rainbows. How about this? With one arm, I grab the brown note. The other, I grab Orson's hand. Okay. So I am holding onto the brown note, and I am holding onto Orson. Okay. Does that do anything? You're holding on to both of them. <laughs> Is that it for Evie? Um, I, I will use my bonus action to uh, give him advantage to make his strength check. Okay. Who's next? Eh, that's it. Uh, we've got Edmont with Orson on deck. Um, we have a bunch of things that need to die. They all look pretty bloody, though. They all they all need to die, though. You're not wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna crack whip at this one directly. Well, directly in the whip range next mm -hmm. to me. Very good. That's a third. No, I'm sorry. That's a twenty not twenty eight to hit. Jesus, man. I'm not rolling a disadvantage anymore, Brick Road. No, I'll say. <laughs> 11 points slashing damage to that one. That's enough. Uh, hit that one next to him. Okay. Ooh, that's only an 11 to hit. 11 will not hit. Uh, martial arts here. Sure. On this action of martial arts. Kick it. 13 to hit. Uh, 13 will not hit. Man, I was doing better when I was blind. You want to close your eyes and try again? <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, That's going to end there. my turn. All right. Yeah. Got uh, Orson with purple on deck. Orson's going to make that strength check. Advantage. Uh, he passes. Okay. And he is going to 5, 10, 15, 20... 25. Or Evie's left there by herself. Uh, actually, can Orson grab Evie and shoved her in the brown note? If Evie he... consents to being grappled. Evie already hold, is holding him, yeah. She could put him in there. Or he can put her in there. So you're in the he brown note. He can go in there too if he wants. Yeah, and he's going in the brown note. Okay. He's like, this place is a lot nicer where there's no worms. Yeah. So they're in the brown note for now. And then I basically Orson tells you that his his next goal is to uh, when he after he catches his breath for a minute, he's going to hop back out and we're going to push the brown note to safety. Yeah, we have to. We're running out of time. Uh, uh, purple with genie. All right. Let's get strength saves all around. Uh, we'll. Resolve the ones on the outside first. Econ, Genie, Thank God he put me in the brown note because I rolled a one. <laughs> uh, Orson also failed. I passed. Okay. Uh, what's the DC? It's 13. Ooh, uh, Edmont 13. failed. Edmont failed. Victor failed. tumbling around that thing again. <laughs> Victor failed? Apparently. Uh, inside the brown note, two points of bludgeoning damage, and you are both prone. Ow. As the brown edge of the brown note catches on the web. Next time it gets pulled, though, it's going to get pulled directly into the center of the web, and we'll see where it goes from there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was purple. Yep, now we've got Genie with Victor. Genie, fix it. Uh, can Jeannie see this? That the Victor's told us where she is. Can Victor see her? Uh, can Jeannie see her from here? Not unless you have dark vision. And even then, I think it's more than sixty feet away. Well, I was. I, I don't mind like taking a blind shot. I just wanted to take a shoot at her with my cannon. Yeah, you can take a blind shot with the cannon. Okay. Oh, cool. 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 Uh, so I need. I need a dexterity saving throw from all three of these guys, and I'm going to roll disadvantage on her. 
That's one pass on the deck saves. I got an 18. Okay. Uh, does a 15 hit the purple lady? No. Well, crud. Okay, uh, this one passes. Okay. So. I don't think it mattered if it passed, honestly. <laughs> it doesn't take Underwave. any damage. No, it's oh. a cantrip. So it doesn't take any damage. Okay, so the two that failed take what? Eight points of damage. That's a poor roll. Okay. I'm so any charges? Huh? Any charges left in your earring? Oh, yeah. I do have one left. So, yeah, that's 15 damage on those two. So there is one tiny, super scrawny worm remaining. All right. Then the turret takes a shot but misses, and then who's up? Victor, get it. Working on it. I've got the lady. Get the worm. I'm too far away for the worm. Yeah, he is kind of too far away for the worm. I think the way to kill the lady is to use the salt. I'm not sure anything else will work on her. Thirty if he gets me here, and then a five for the teleport. Um, so I don't know what the diagonal distance is, but he's <laughs> fifty linear feet from me. So I'm assuming that gets me to the edge. So you, yeah, you can teleport top. up to the very edge here, and no sooner do you do, do you see her disappear into the lesion, and the thing seals up with the same musculature as before. What's next? We'll relay the message. And then how far how far down is it? Uh between like ten and fifteen feet. I think I yeah, I applied ten feet of damage to the the brown note when it just fell. So you can hop down yeah. for ten feet. Um all right, so then we'll use our action to start heading back to the thing. Okay. Right there. All right, who's next? Uh, oh, worms. On. Worms. I have one worm. Yep. I have a fourteen to hit Genie. That does not hit Genie. As the worm tries to get in through your pant leg, but does not puncture the cloth. That's it. That's my last worm. He's real sad. Swatting at it. Uh. Ginny yells th uh, through the tubes that she's got the worm. Take care of the. Okay. Save, save the, save the ship. Okay, who's next? Uh, Econ is up. Uh, if I can, I see, like, what's the lighting situation? Like, which of these can I see right now? Which of what? The three lesions. Uh, from down in the bottom of the pit, you can't really get a good look at any of them because they're all up on. Uh, the tops of cliffs from your perspective. It's like 10 feet down? You you have to get up on the lip of one of the cliffs or okay. at least higher in elevation to be able to see very well. Okay. Just float up. We need four people to move the brown out or we're going to lose our ship. It's going to take everyone left. We need Ekon, Edmont, and Orson and Evie. Not inside. Hold on. <laughs> 25 gets me there. Let me take stock of what I've got left. Sorry, gentlemen. I have to step away for just two minutes. Now I'm hurting for spell slots.
So when we fix this, we bail out, right? Because <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> We're only in here for an hour and some change and fourths. Okay. Sedgwick and Ray are gonna be like, "What? You just you guys just got in there? What are you doing?" My apologies. That was a text message from the lady wife. Okay, so 25 gets me there. Okay. Pick on cast enhance ability strength. No, 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 no. Your action has to be to move the ship or we're going to lose it. It's going to get caught in the web. I cannot move the ship. I have a strength score of 5. So I cast enhance ability strength on Edmont, duck into the ship, and also touch EV using a third level spell slot. To do what? Cure wounds? No, it's a enhance ability strength on Edmont and EV. Oh, okay. See, is a bonus action. Uh, I don't really have a useful bonus action right now. So that's the end of Ekon's turn. We got dead blood cells and then Eevee. All right, Eevee, what's, what's it with you? Well, we were supposed to move the ship, but Ekon decides he's much smarter than me. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I think... That was a good use of Ekans' turn. Yeah. With his, him and his five strength. Um, I leave the brown out. I'm going to get pulled into the maw. It's possible. If I stay in the brown note, I'm going to get pulled into the maw. It's possible. Uh... Do it. It's fine. I have no good options right now. You got enhanced ability strength on you right now. Yeah, um, I can't move it by myself. Orson's gonna help out and help you. It takes four people. Right, but you can stop. We could probably stop. Yeah, it. maybe the three you can stop it at least. Oh well, I'll we try tried, that. I guess we tried that previously and royally beefed it. Remember? Yeah, that's why, that's I'm gonna. Why Stay in here, and this I guess I'm going to use my... You don't get run over when the brown note rolls over on top of you. Yeah, and I'm going to try to brace the brown note. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Who's next? Uh, we've got Edmont with Orson. Move over here. Plant my feet, mm -hmm. grab a hold of the brown note, and try to brace it. Okay. Orson with purple. Orson is going to get out. That is not the right one. He's going to get right here, and then same thing. Pull. All right. And then it's purple? Yep. Yep. All right, let's get a strength saving throw. Uh, Ekon is the only one on the inside. Does this? Do I get advantage of this from the enhanced ability? Yep. Okay. Do you need to not a check? Victor failed. So I don't get advantage? I think you only get it on checks, right? Double checking. Yeah, this is a save, not an ability check. Okay. So Orson passes... Well, the well, Orson is 14. It, it rolled an 18. Okay. Uh, I rolled... Edmont rolled a 19. Okay. 19. How do you do? Evie got a two. Two. And Jeannie? Uh, Jeannie rolled a 19. All right. And Ekon, inside the note. A 10. 10. Okay. Uh, what 
One point of bludgeoning damage. Yep. Uh, I need a DC 17 saving throw. Uh, d- uh, dexterity, dexterity saving throw from Evie. Uh, a what? You're going into the web, right? Oh, okay. 17 dexterity? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I got a 16. Oh, you're stuck. I actually don't think Evie would be going into the web because she put herself behind the brown note, which moved only five feet. And then she got, so she'd like be sucking up and over it. Yeah. So she'd be like up here now. <laughs> uh, Edmont and Orson. Hmm. Both of you give me a strength check. Let's see if you can keep the brown note from moving this round. Uh, that is a 17. 17? Oh, yeah. How did Edmont do? Six. A six. This you, you do have advantage on. I rolled a five and a seven. Oh. <laughs> he needs to roll a disadvantage. <laughs> so he can bust out the 19s and 20s. Uh. Yeah, Evie, you kind of land on top of the brown note, which is looming deeper into the web at this point. Uh, But the web is arresting its movement somewhat. To move any further than this, the web's going to have to break or give way. Mm -hmm. Evie's used to getting eaten at this point. You don't know where the small goes. Just lay there and think of England. What's (laughs) next? Uh, next we've got Genie with Victor on deck. I need an intelligence saving throw from this worm. They're bad at these. Eh, it was better than usual. 11. Can it, can it even make a 17? <laughs> yeah, technically. Uh, that is a ten, 10 points. Yeah, that's enough. It only had one hit point. Uh, okay. And then Genie is going to... Bonus action. She's going to blindly shoot at this pool. Okay. Which one? Okay. Yeah, the one over there. So the turret underneath Evie just comes to life and starts shooting. <laughs> yeah, Evie rotates 45 degrees around this the turret. <laughs> uh, that would be a uh, 21 to hit, and if it does damage, it would be... <laughs> Uh, ten points of damage. Okay, Genie has no and, way to confirm the hit from where she's standing. And yeah, it would it would be ten points of damage, and the, the and it would be pushed back ten feet, up against the wall. Yeah, but Genie has no way to confirm a hit from where she's standing. Right. Yes. Correct. That's why <laughs> I, I worded it that way. Uh, she's going to go this closely, and she's going to grab a hold of the brown note with her little noodle arms. Who's next? Uh, next up is Genie. So we've got Victor with red token on deck. All right. So the ghost lady vanished and sealed up the one up north. I suspect she's over here now. You're assuming she's still in this room. I'm thinking she went to a pool or part of the dungeon. I don't know. Can I see her from up here? <laughs> well, you're on top of the brown note, which is on top of a web in the maw in the center of the room. You're in the lowest part of the room. Okay. So Victor is going to go up... Well, that's not lit well enough to see it from that far away, right? Correct. Like if, Correct. There's, there's no yeah, light source to... coming from up here. Yeah. Okay. I've got the lady. Deal with the deal with the note. Trust me. It is a sad state of affairs when Victor is probably the second strongest person in the party. <laughs> Where's Gus when you need him? Probably drunk somewhere. It's a fairly safe bet. I mean, it depends. Like, is like, it just depends on how many years later this is. Like, is he retired? This has. We do have confirmation that this happened after um, Flump Inc. Because. Yep. Is yeah. Victor close enough right here to help move the note? Yeah, as long as you're within five feet of it. Okay. Then 
All right, so Ekans not gonna help move it. I don't know what right, Ekans so gonna Vic do. He keeps threatening my ghost. He may or may not even still be in this room. Yes. <laughs> um, haunting blood. So Victor is going to hold an action to help Evie, Edmont, and Orson move the note away from the mall. Okay. And hopefully to move with the note when that happens. <laughs> I see Destel measuring out just across the entirety of the room. All right. So we got Worm. I'm just going to yeah, let me done. know if they... they're done. Yeah. Uh, so Ekon will leave the note. He will grab the cannon and have it climb onto his arm. His free arm. And then he will swim uh, 30 feet straight up. Is it a tiny or a small? It's it's a tiny. It's a, I, unless otherwise noted, it's a it's a it's. I'm tiny. just gonna grab it. Yeah, it's it's hand sized or handheld. For some reason, I can't grab it, but I'm gonna grab it, and he's gonna shove it onto his back. He's gonna swim up oh, I, thirty I have feet. It. Okay, I have it attached right. to the top there, but yeah, we can. Uh, he'll do a little bit of lateral movement along with his up swimming, and then he is going to use his last third level spell slot and cast daylight. Okay, which affects. The 60 foot radius range. That's pretty much the whole room. Uh, no, but it's enough to get both of these, and then I can use the light from my light cantrip on my shield to swim over to the other one. So that area roughly is daylight. So when you cast daylight at the moment, uh, what's Icon's passive perception? Really good. Uh, <laughs> passive perception is 19. Okay. So. For a second, you see the ghost lady in this pool. Mm -hmm. And as the daylight engulfs this half of the room, the hole seals up. You can also see from your position that this hole is also sealed. Yep. I got the lady. Deal with the note. That's the end of Ekon's turn. Uh, unless, actually, does anyone need... Eh. No, it doesn't help. Okay, so we got Evie with Edmont. Let's move. Which way do we want to move it? Away from the hole. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's two ways to move it away from the hole, but this way's fine. Diagonally. I mean, we're Evie's... all positioned diagonally, that's why. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Evie is ready to move the note. How many of you get turns before the next purple? Uh, it looks be... like myself and Orson. And Victor's got his held action. Evie, yeah. So Victor, Evie, Orson, and Edmont. Edmont. Yeah. Okay. So presuming Edmont uses his turn to move up next to the note, then the four of you will have no difficulty moving it whatever direction you want to go. Okay. How far can we move it? Uh, 15 feet, because I think the shortest... I think the lowest speed amongst the four of you is 30. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, so you can... As you're moving the note, you can move it as though it's like at half speed, so that's about 15 feet. So three squares back. I mean, three squares in any direction you want to move it. One, two, three. Okay. Victor will brace himself against that the right. fire. So you pull it free what? from the web and pull it back away from the suction hole? Yep. And Victor is trying to brace himself against that thing. I guess Genie would get left behind, technically. technically. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you were holding onto it. You get moved with it. Uh, would I? I'll leave that up to you. I'll, well, yeah. I'll, I'll... If you want to move along with it, that's fine. It, yes, I would like to be further away from the evil murder mall. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And then it's purple, yes? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, let's get strength checks from all over town. Nobody's in the note right now. Everybody's tired of getting rattled around inside of there. Wow, oh, that's, two passes. that's two passes. Evie Ekon failed. Passes. Uh, so Ekon gets pulled down towards the center of the mall. You were, what, 30 feet up? Yeah. So you'd so be 10 like feet above it now. here, yeah, a good 10 or so feet above yep. the web still. Did anybody else fail? Evie failed. you back on top of the note. <laughs> Uh, Edmont, Orson, and Victor are 
still I guess Genie is too if you're also holding on to it. I am. Yeah. That's yeah, let's get four strength checks to see if the note moves away from your grip. As long as none of you got swept away from it. Uh DC two 13. Pass. 13? Okay. Okay, that's two that's two passes. Orson and Edmont. Uh, Orson and three. Orson and you roll? E Genie passed. Yeah, I okay. did. Ugh. I yeah. only uh, failed. As long as none of you sweep get swept away and at least three of you pass that second check I just asked for, the note doesn't go anywhere. You brace it against the ground. Uh, which of you has the highest wisdom score amongst the four of you? Uh, Probably Edmont, but that's a 14. 12. Edmont? That's a 14. Okay. Uh, standing here holding it will work for short term. But you think it would be a much better idea to lash this thing to one of these calcifications with rope. Yeah. Tying it down would free up a lot of movement and a lot of turns. Yeah. It would also limit our movement, but I think that's fine at this point. You get I, will, I will call that out. I, secure, it to the two, secure it to the two bones. Evie's already tied to it with rope. She'll untie it on her turn. Okay, so we've got Genie with Victor. Uh, Genie is going to... I think all of you keep holding on to the note for the time being. Uh, Genie is going to... Swim straight up, 30 okay. feet. And she's going to scan these two spots. Looking mm -hmm. for the lady you have no difficulty seeing it through the daylight they're both sealed then she is going to turn where she knows the hole is and again she probably i recognize that i'll probably be disadvantaged a fire uh, turret uh i'm going to shoot a firebolt okay over there i, I realize but yeah, that's firing a disadvantage unless you have some way to see the target right i, I have no way to like put light over there unfortunately I'll get your turret into a position for it. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, and, well, that's a 13 to hit. A 13 to hit? Yeah. Uh, if the turret moves up 15 feet from its position, its current yeah, position, yeah. can it aim for that spot? It's snuggling with Ekon, as I recall, right? Yeah, Ekon's right. holding the turret. I don't know what the range on the turret is, as long as you can count out the range for me. It's got 120 feet movement. I just didn't know if it was too far down, too too low. Angle of the... Uh, oh yeah. yeah. I think Ekon can fire at any... If it's 120 feet of range, I think Ekon can fire at any of these three spots. So you launch the firebolt up. Uh, Ekon. Mm-hmm. I will let you use your reaction to make a perception check right now. Yeah, let's do it. That's called a tracer uh, range. Four. Okay. You don't know whether Genie's firebolt hit anything. What you do know is that a split second after Genie launches it, this pool becomes unsealed. And the ghost appears therein. Uh, unless unless Ekon can tell me something, I am going to shoot at the same pool. That hang on, hang point. on, hang on. We're doing this wrong. We need all three of... We need three people to be positioned at each of these pools, so no matter where she appears, we can take her out. Well, yeah, I, obviously, Honestly. at this point, I, I think Ekon and Genie are just keeping her yeah, I'll, I'll yell. I'll yell, that we're sh I'll yell and point the turret in that direction. Edmont, give me a wisdom check. Actually, I'll, I'll use your reaction to give me a wisdom check. I'll take it. Okay. I ain't using it for anything important right now, anyway. Uh, 19. Your peoples are trying to coordinate their attacks against this ghost popping out. You're pretty sure you know a way to immediately remove one of these pools from equa the equation at a time. Evie had a good idea when she says we need to position three people there to take her out. You think it will be better to position three people there each holding a grain of salt. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> I am, I'm already holding one. Well, like... Uh... At my goal, like my current goal, is to just keep her busy while the three of you take care of the okay. brown. Note. I I already have one. I'm close to this hole. I will move here. 
Victor, grab one and move over here. Edmont, grab one, move you over need here to... with all your crazy monk movement. You need to secure the note first. Yeah. Three people over. We have three other people. Ek Ekon, you need to help hold the note. You've done your part. Uh, uh, anyway, we we've still got we still got like a whole while before it goes. So, but anyway, yeah. No, Genie takes a shot at the lady. So that with... was Genie's turn. Are you moving or staying put? Uh, staying put. Okay. So I'm thirty foot straight up in this spot. Sure. And then it's Victor, yes? Yeah. Alright, so Victor will grab one of the salts from the note. Okay. Is that how much movement does that take? Just five uh, five feet to get in and then five feet to get back out. Okay, so... You only have to squeeze in if there's already three people in there. All right, so 30 feet gets me there. So 30 more feet gets me to there. Is that close enough to drop it in, or do I need to be a little closer? No, you can drop it in from right there. This one's sealed off at the moment, though. <laughs> yes. Did you use an action or a bonus action to dash? That was a bonus action of the dash. Nice. So for the action... He is going to hold his action, and as soon as it opens, fling it in. He's gonna fling it in. Yeah. All right. Victor is standing by. Who's next? Uh, Ekon. So Ekon is going to swim to keep enough uh, slack on the hose. He'll swim back a bit and then swim up thirty feet, and then let me check a range on something real quick. One twenty. Yep. Uh, I will ready an action to cast Sacred Flame on the lady as soon as someone is in position to drop a piece of salt into the second hole. Which hole are you watching? So I am. So I know Victor's over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep one eye over here, and then. My, but my target is when someone is brings a piece of salt up here. This is the release. Is when someone is up here and ready to drop salt because I know Victor already has one here. I'll cast Sacred Flame to force her to drop into a different hole. Okay, or if so she doesn't, she just... Got you. The goal is to force her to pop up through one of the other... Yep. yep. And Evie can just barely get there with 60 feet. Tremble told me I would never be able to get my D&D players to play Whack-A-Mole. Uh, that... Ekon's got a bonus action. Um, does anyone want to be with somewhere they aren't? You can push me five feet, I guess. Yep. In the other direction, towards the hole. Towards the hole. <laughs> oh, you only have salt. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can only put. So that, uh, I already uh, have salt. Yeah, so I can go. I'd have to go back there if I wanted to do that, but I can do that with my movement. Okay. Who's next? Uh, Evie. Can I untie myself as an item interaction, or does that have to be my action? You're tied off with rope. Yeah. That would be an action. Okay. Well, no, that, I would use an item interaction to just. Slip out. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it'll be an action to, t to untie yourself, but as an item interaction, you could just take a knife and slash the rope. Oh, I'll just cut it, I guess. Yeah. All right. Uh, I figure it takes an action to tie a knot. It would take an action to untie one. Yeah. Okay, I am here, ready to, that, that, to use something that to apply triggers Ekons. Yep, so she needs to make a dexterity saving throw. That did cut. That did cut my hose, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're well more than 30 feet away. <laughs> uh, she fails the deck save. Okay. And she stays there? No, she doesn't. Even that if... works, too. <laughs> you can't actually damage her like this. Go ahead, that enjoy. That uh, up. Uh, Victor. Yeah. That triggers your held action. Boink. As the seal comes undone. Boink, shove. And just as she emerges, you throw the grain of salt down in there, which forces her back down. That lesion is now sealed. Uh, and then the only safe place for her to move is right in front of Evie. And Evie has not used an action yet. Uh, I, I readied my action to use the salt. 
So as soon as she appears... We're still on your turn. Oh, okay. I used my salt on her. Yes. Your movement to that space triggered Ekon's held action. Ekon's held action triggered Victor's. Then, yeah, you get it nice and sealed up. Which forces her back out of the original one. Edmont, you have the most movement. Can you get there in one turn? Akon, you might have to kill your light to let him do this. I can't. Oh. He's a monk. Not, be fine. not a choice. I, I need to literally cast a spell magic and I'm out of third level slots. Uh, Evie, are you moving or staying put? Uh, I'm good here. Okay. Uh, I have to keep track of Evie's on, lifespan. It's an on deck. Edmont, wait, actually. Make sure to take assault. I'm going to, so I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, no, everything outside of this is dim light, Edmund. The next 60 feet of radius is all dim light. It doesn't help him. He needs to get to the bright light with radius. Yeah. yeah. He could teleport, like, to here. from here to here. Five, go into the brown note. Grab a salt. Ten, come out. 15, 20, 25, 30, 10 feet up, 40, 45, 50, dash, no, wait, no, key point to dash, <laughs> step of the wind, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 gets me to there. And I have an action to to dunk the thing in there. You dunk the thing. And once again, the agonized look on her face as she melts away. I can only imagine it must be very satisfying. Yeah, it's pretty satisfying. I like it. As the last lesion closes up, well, the lesion doesn't close up. The evil seeps away, leaving just the wound in the tissue. Mm -hmm. The suction in the room remains, but it weakens considerably to the point where you can still feel it pulling on you and you can still ride the suction if you so desired, but it's no longer irresistible. The note is no longer in any danger of being pulled towards the giant maw. I'll well done, just everyone. Stay here. Continue being to, awesome. Let's get to this door on the side and get this other one. Like oh, two no. left. Okay. Evie hooks her well, breathing apparatus back up. He hooks his hose back up. Unfortunately, the last two nodes are going to have to wait until next year. Longest dungeon ever. Do you no. mind if I take more action so we don't forget? Just like this is kind of those like we will kick ourselves if we don't do this right yeah, now. Yeah, go ahead and mop up this room. That's fine. Yep. Uh, Ekon casts a mass cure light wounds from his staff. Okay. So uh, that can hit everyone except Genie. You guys took like yeah. six sessions in Baba Yaga's hut. This isn't the longest yeah. dungeon ever. Yeah, this is TM yeah. take over a year. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the last session of Raven Flumph in the year 2022. We'll be picking it back up on January the 1st. Uh, it's what happens when Christmas falls on a Sunday. The year of our Lord, 2023. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go dark for a few minutes and add up a whole bunch of experience points. Uh, how much healing for Orson? Yep, everybody gets back. Oh. Uh, everybody gets back 15 hit points. Nice. Okay. Orson's I'll take looking it. pretty good. Yeah. I still got 10 hit points. Thank you for letting me ride in the brown note. <laughs> Who was the most creative? I think that was probably Treble's use of webs. Yeah, I'll go for that. <laughs> Uh, the party's goals the most today. Uh, 
That was kind of Edmont for for dunking two of those during this session. Yeah. I'm okay with that. For doing the slam jam twice. It was badass. Uh, Victor for just getting a little sucked out for having a, having for us having to record his lifespan. <laughs> it, yeah, just Victor's been swimming around a lot without without oxygen, like even more <laughs> so than Edmont. Yeah, probably ill advised, but and the. Uh, Intangibles. So would that be Evie for discovering how to defeat the boss? Hmm. I'm okay. I'm okay with that because I don't got nothing. Like, if somebody yeah. can think of something else. I mean, aside from Genie teleporting people again. A lot of teleporting. Charges? Who has that one? Uh, G uh, I think I I have it. Okay. How many There's charges are left? Two. Not an irresponsible number of Vortex Warps left, huh? Yeah, I've only got three Vortex Warps left in me, and, like, I've got... So I've got three level one slots, one level three slot... Three flashes of genius, and two two vortex wands left. Vortex I'm down, one to, I'm down to three key points. I've uh, got uh, three each of first and second level spell slots, and one point left in the wand, in the staff. Uh, I, nobody's going to remember this in three weeks, but just for Edmonts, I do ha I do have catnap prepared because I figured refreshing your. Uh, is, what is that, a, a ten minute short rest? Yeah, a ten somebody? minute short rest. Yeah, re okay. refreshing all of your key points is worth. That's want, totally let's worth Let's resolve it. that right now if you're going to do it. I am not. Like, how many key points do you have? I have three. Do you want it? Or do you want to save it for a haste with the potential to go absolutely um, new player? I can earn two key points now and get myself topped off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll burn two key points now, top myself off on top of uh, Edvon, Ekon's healing. And then, yeah, Catnap. Does Catnap benefit everyone? Uh, not everybody, but it benefits... I mean, does the whole party get the benefits of a short rest? No. no. Three willing creatures. So who does get the benefits? Uh, uh, it, I, could, I could use it. The, the two brothers, and I don't think either rogue really needs it. Evie gets her spell back if she gets a short rest. I think like, Victor gets his dice back. Yeah, you want to sign the dice back. Oh, uh... Sinic dice would be really good to have back. Yeah, I think the signing dice trumps the the noble spell slots. Alright. So Victor, uh, Edmonds, yeah. and Ekon are taking the benefits of a cat nap. Yeah. Yep. Very good. Who wants some experience points? I do. I want experience. I do. Alright. Oh, and we can spend hit dice too, right? Yes. yes. The, it's a regular yep. short At a short rest. rest. Uh, everybody's going to have 1,983 experience points. 1983. That's the, year of, that's the year of my birth. You an old man. I am. <laughs> All right. Who wants to make a case for some blips? Uh, sure. Go. What you got? Um, so for whatever it takes, that would be, uh, being Teleporter the Explorer. <laughs> teleporter the Explorer. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's incredible. Um, All right. For ideal, seek the truth no matter the cost. That would be going into the lightning room to disrupt the current. <laughs> Knowing he was going to get shocked. <laughs> okay. I am valuing knowledge over people. That would be wanting to explore the blood cell room, knowing that it was a bad idea instead of going the safe route. You could have made it to that room safely if you'd gone through the other door. Because you would have just traveled along that wall and not down the center of the room. Yeah. But then you wouldn't have got to fight all those cool blood cells. Yeah, with the eye-sucking... Yeah. 
who's next? I can go. Uh, neutral. Uh, try to be better than I was yesterday for letting my family know that I believe in all of them except for Victor. <laughs> it's it's listen. It's it's still a work in progress. Victor has been working really hard this whole dungeon. <laughs> he has been working really hard, and although he, has earned, he, he did then say he did then say Telepora the Explorer. <laughs> Uh, my ideal practical solutions to impractical problems mm -hmm. for uh, just using web as a, the web spell as a net. Yeah, that was pretty good. And uh, my flaw, don't worry about it. It was just a setback for my dubious grasp on the laws of electri uh, the, the laws of conducti conductivity <laughs> when it regard in regards to electricity. <laughs> you just drink all the electricity and then there's none left. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> that was not a joke answer. That was like, that was a legitimate idea for me. I want everybody to know that. I will own that. And the video. I enjoyed it. All right, who's next? I can go. Evie. Uh, alignment, I will do my duty, but I will always be true to myself for refusing to abandon Orson when he was about to go into the mob. Uh, ideal, I must become a leader others can believe in for uh, taking charge of securing the brown note. And flaw, no one understands for not understanding how bioelectricity works, but apparently understanding better than Genie. <laughs> if you didn't fail high school biology. I wonder what high school biology looks like. In... Evie's intelligence is really high now, you guys. We haven't been through high school, you guys. Uh, Jeannie We're not old has. enough. Jeannie went to school. Jeannie went to college. Not yeah, to on biology. Nerd! You don't study biology. <laughs> Nerd! In my head, Ken and Evie went to a finishing school, but didn't learn much except that she likes girls as well as boys. I can't just, <laughs> Like, there's nothing in here that a couple of leeches wouldn't fix. Like, Jeannie, like, learned, like, went to college to learn how to make boats. That's what she did. Who's next? I can go. I can. So I've got Lawful Good, The Shining Words of Air, lay down a path to us all for solving the problem with the valve through physio applied physiology. Okay. Uh, sort of the airish, you know, knowledge that would... That's how that's how a free of would solve this. I've got the ideal. We'll make it out somehow. Because how we're going to have to make this out, it seems like, is ignoring Eevee's orders. And that is entirely what... Ekon did during that last combat. <laughs> okay. We see yeah. And I've got my flaw. I'm sure there has to be something good over the next hill for wanting to go into this room when we didn't know what was in there. There was nothing in there, but I wanted to do that in, as opposed to just, you know, just go mission straight forward. Why is ignoring Evie's orders going to be what gets you out of here? I mean, we've been listening to Evie and we're still in Ravenloft, so. Ouch. Oh, an initiative. Okay, and that just... I suppose I can't fault you for that. That's... I can't argue with that. <laughs> that leaves Edmont. Alright, I've got my alignment. Lawful evil. Blood, blood runs thicker than water and my own blood thicker still for following Edcon's lead when he said, hey, you got this. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, brother. You right. I got this. <laughs> I believe in my brother. Okay. Look at me. Uh, I have my flaw. This world is filled with predators and prey and I sure as hell am not the prey for... For for getting grabbed by that lady, and being like, "Oh, guess what? Slap with this with the, with the ice or with the or with the salt." Okay. And my ideal life was my canvas, and I'll make my mark on it for doing that again later in the in the in this big chamber. So you think dropping salt's going to leave a mark on Zach Wheel's insides? Probably. He's going to have just scar tissue, and it's going to be in the shape of a man with a straw hat. No, he's sure. going to need water. He's going to be thirsty. Uh, who had the most creative solution to a problem in this session? That's genies with the webs to save the brown now from going over the edge back here. Yeah, Please. that kind of made it impossible for anybody to go into the maw, which is too bad. Like, like what, would, what would you have done to, like, make the maw, like, destroy it? What do you mean? Like, you said the Maw was going to try and destroy it at one point. 
So if the Ma had, I, I, the ruling I kind of gave it was if the brown note was completely inside the web, I would give the Maw a strength check to see if it could suck it down in. But that never happened. You guys kept pulling it back. Oh, darn. Who did the most to further the party's goals? Uh, that was Victor for uh, being... No, it was uh, Edmont for... It was Edmont. Victor. Victor is badass. Oh, okay. It was... For... Ed, Ed... Yeah. yeah. This whole dungeon is a badass. Nope. Blocked. Go to the corner. Go to the corner. No, Edmont was... is a, Edmont for the party's goals the most because he 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 sank the most baskets. Yeah, you're just keeping track of who's put the most salt in the most holes. Edmont's yep. yeah. like, what three out of six. Yep, I, Victor did one. Victor did some last last session. Actually, uh, no, Victor's at two at least two now. Evie did one, so I think that's probably Evie one, Victor two, Edmont three. Yeah. Okay. So I did two this session. Imagine Why is Victor the badass? Because uh, he's swimming around. He keeps unplugging himself and swimming around <laughs> like it's a good idea. I mean, nothing terrible happened. Yeah. He did get his eyeball sucked out of his head. And then a worm Still... flowed up his tube, which is an awesome sentence. I think, I think Victor, I, I think we are coddling you with a vortex warp too much. <laughs> Oh, and I, I will. Mean, Victor was going to teleport back on his own, but you vortex warped him. So I mean, I will also throw in uh, during the downtime after that fight. I also cast the requisite mendings to seal up the suit, so I don't think anybody was worse than a mending would fix. I don't think anyone yet took too bad of a hit. They're like, yeah. I think you know, we just tourniqueted uh, a hole in Ed Ekon's leg there. I did specifically. I think Victor. I put yeah. monsters in this dungeon that could damage your suits, but nothing beyond what a mending could repair. That you know of. There's still like two rooms left. Uh, what about intangibles? Genie, you can cash uh, Intangible I... went to Evie for making the call on how to defeat the boss. Okay. And hey, Victor forehead, maybe he has should... our straw pole. All right. Uh, Edmont. Sir. Oh, no wonder you know you guys didn't spend any blips. Half of you were just at zero blips. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> so Edmont and Ekon both earned four blips. So Edmont, you have four now. Ekon, you're rolling those four over. Uh, I thought I have myself with zero. Is that not right? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I had you come in this session with six. Uh, Evie. You came in with a six and you earned four, so you're rolling those over. Correct. Genie, you came in with six and you earned five, you're rolling those over. Okay. Victor, you came in with four and you earned five, so you're rolling over at least three. So does everybody like to come in next session with six, except for Edmont, who can come in with four. Yes. Good. What are blips worth? Six sixty six. Still. Okay. And who got the straw pole? Victor did. Uh, how many did Ooh, I earn? Yeah. Five, you said? Yes. Okay. 666. All right. Thanks so much for playing, guys. I'll see y'all in 2023. Yep, yep. Later, friendos. Mm -hmm. 19, 3, 